What is up, YouTubers? Again, we have another Sprue Kits. This time, it's from the Halo series. Master Chief. By Bandai. These are superposable model kits that you can create into figures. Um, <clears throat> they also have these two uh, uh, Halo fig characters. Spartan Gabriel Thorne and Commander Sarah Palmer. But I went for the classic the original Master Chief. Um, when I actually had an Xbox One, like the actual original Xbox, I used to live on playing Halo. So, just so we're clear, these are the superposables, okay? Looks like a really big box, but this is how big your guy is gonna be. About six inches tall, all right? So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. This is 109 pieces. Batman was only, uh, 95 pieces. So this is a little bit of a more complex build. Um, with that said, let's uh, go ahead and start putting this thing together. <clears throat> all right. This is all going to be in like super, uh, super fast uh, motion because I know you don't want to see 40 minutes of video of me uh, trying to figure out what goes where and all that other stuff. So let's. Let's get all of our stuff ready. Now, <clears throat> these are like these uh, snap tight kits where they didn't, you know, Reve Revel or Revel used to have these uh, model cars that would uh, snap together. Parts would all snap together and everything. Um, didn't need glue, didn't need anything. You kind of just like, poof. So that was cool. Um, but. These are way more detailed, and they are better plastic, so you don't actually break off the prongs and stuff. So, kudos to Bandai for getting that down and mastering that. So, let's go ahead and start building. Um, again, you're gonna go. You're gonna get some silence from me, but I'm gonna try and do as best as I can to show you how everything is uh, put together. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you in a few. Okay.
Right. So here is the finished piece. Sorry it took so long. Uh, this was a little bit longer of a build. There were more parts, a little more complex, but the finished product is awesome. So here he is, Master Chief. Pretty awesome. Very articulate. Like everything articulates. One thing I did notice that I didn't really like about the Master Chief is that his hands come off too easy. So, like that, they come off really easy. Whereas the Batman, um, hands were a little bit harder to get off. The hands are cool though because they do have a little added piece that you put on, um, which I thought was really cool. Now, this is kind of, kind of, uh, I don't know. So, you have to assemble the hand each time with the gun on. You have to put the gun inside. So, we're going to opt for not having the gun on him. And I'm just going to have him carry it on the back. Like, uh, how would that be? Uh, Mini, come on up. Basically like that. Is that is that right? Yep. Come on. Come on. So and then that's the only thing I kind of gripe about is that it is kind of a task to get the gun on and off. Um, as far as the one on the side, that's also kind of a task too. So, if you want to get any of these things on the side or whatever, or maybe wait. Or, no, no, wait, hold on one sec. Let's see if they have a picture of it to help me out here, guys. Okay, so. This is. Okay, so the gun actually just sits there like this well it should it doesn't want to like yeah it doesn't really want to why is that um, let's take a look Alright, I'm back. So, the gun holster is kind of wonky. It doesn't really hold the pistol too well. So if you knock it, that gun's disappearing. And that stinks. So let's put on some kind of a hand on him. I didn't put the gun on, the rifle on too, because it kind of sits weird in his hand. So those are kind of the things that I have a problem with, is that the guns don't really work well with the uh, figure. Outside of that, these things are bad. Amazingly awesome. Look at that. They have crazy good articulation. Right? Um, let's take these off so we don't lose them. And then... Oh. <laughs> crazy good that they pull off. So he can... I mean, he's flying out into space, he's back, you know, he's, he's got his, uh, his feet back on the ground, he's looking from side to side up, at us down, um, pretty awesome. Do I suggest the, these, uh, kits for my viewers? Hell yeah! These are actually kind of like Lego for adults, you know, or for advanced builders. You know, without the, the blocky bricks. So, totally, 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 highly suggest you go out and get some of these. If, especially if you like these figures. I mean, they're awesome. I personally like them. And I think they're great. So, like I said, 20 bucks. But if you get um, to Toys R Us and they still have a BOGO going on, you can get 40% off your second one. So, there you have it. Uh, leave me a thumbs up, questions and comments down below, and we'll definitely see you at the next 
video. More to come, okay? Let's put uh, Batman with him real quick. And then also, just so we're clear, here's his stand. Okay? Doesn't really need the stand though, but still, cool stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.